Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about five actual hidden features for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone if you have received One UI 8. So let's dive in and get started. These are some powerful and highly useful features, but they are hidden. So let's uh, discover them right away. So the first feature is going to be in the gallery application. So I'm going to launch that right over here. So the first feature is going to be in the gallery application. So let me launch the gallery application. And the feature that I'm talking about is known as the, if I tap on the menu, as the private album that I can tap on, which is going to be locked, and I can unlock it to access my private photos that I can dump in there. Now by default, it's not going to show up right here. You have to actually enable it. So let me show you how to enable it. So what you want to do is you want to tap on the menu at the bottom and go to the settings, okay? And then you want to scroll all the way down and you want to activate the gallery labs feature. Now, if you don't have this enabled, you want to go to about gallery and you just want to start tapping on the version number or the gallery seven to eight times. And as you do it, you're going to see a little message that's going to say gallery labs active. Once it is active, you go inside. Okay. And right away, you are going to see this brand new private album option. So you can see by default, it's going to be turned on. You simply have to turn that on. And then when you go outside to your gallery, you can now tap on the menu and you will see the private album. Now to give you an example, let's say I want to hide this photo right here in my private album or multiple photos, doesn't matter. All I do is press and hold. I can do videos as well. So let's select these three items. I'm going to tap on more. And then at the bottom, you're going to see move to private album. Okay. So you tap on that. It takes those guys and sends it over to the private album. Now, when I go inside, boom, there it is. And it's fantastic. So that's going to be feature number one, the private album feature. Now I'm going to come back to the gallery to show you another hidden feature, but I do want to show you something that has to do with advanced protection of your phone. So with One UI 8, Google has gotten an update. So you go to your settings and then you scroll down and you go to the menu that says Google services. And then you go to all services. And when you scroll down here up until you see personal and device safety, this option here is going to be brand new advanced protection. In fact, here's a One UI 7 device. If I go to my settings over here, and if I go to Google, okay, and if I go to all services, and if I go to personal and device safety at the bottom, you're going to see that it is not there, okay? So this advanced protection is brand new only on One UI 8 devices and above or Android 16 devices. So basically, you will scroll down. It gives you maximum protection from everything that's listed here, but you can enable this, okay? And then you read that and you say, turn on. And if you scroll down, you can see it works on device safety, apps, networks, web, and Google messages. You can tap this arrow to see exactly how it enhances uh, your phone's security with advanced protection features, as you can see, okay? So if you disable this, by the way, it's going to ask you to put in your PIN number or your fingerprint if you want to disable it. I'm going to keep it disabled for now, but this option is brand new on One UI 8 devices. So that's number two. Now, going back to the gallery, I want to show you the other hidden feature. So when you tap on the menu and you tap on the settings, and again, when you have the gallery labs enabled, you tap on this guy and you have this brand new add search tab at the bottom option. By default, if I go outside now, let me just cancel everything out and restart. The changes you make do not take effect unless you restart the application, uh, the gallery application. So by default, you can see I have a search button on the top right here. Okay. But once I enable that gallery labs and go inside and I activate this, and again, you have to exit the application and go back inside to activate the search tab is going to be conveniently located at the bottom right here. It's no longer going to be right there. Okay. So that's number three, number four, 
we have this brand new option when you go to settings and when you scroll down to advanced features and when you go to labs there is this brand new back swipe preview option so normally when I swipe backwards okay you'd see a little arrow as you can see that takes you back now when I enable this I am able to see a preview of what I'm going back to there we go all right I can also make it work right here as you can see so it's a nice little touch if you like it it's gonna be under labs right over here so disable enable it's gonna be up to you all right let's talk about the final hidden feature when you go to my files application right over here you are able to do the same thing as the gallery labs you can tap here go to settings at the bottom you can activate my files labs if you don't see this go inside and tap on the my files several times until you see enable my files labs okay so just tap on it it's going to enable in a little bit so it's going to be right here when you go inside this is a new feature it says permanently delete option so I have this enabled let me show you what it does if I go outside to my my files so let's say I want to delete a file let's say this one right here I tap on delete and look at this I can either move this to trash or if I know that it's going to be a file I just want to permanently delete I can check this box and tap on delete okay so you get that option under the delete without that option enabled you do not see the permanently delete option now just to give you an example here let's just pick one item here so let's say I want to tap delete I pick permanently delete and I tap delete now that's gone it is not going to be in my trash from where I can recover it which is going to be right here if I go to trash now it is not in my recovery bin okay just something to keep in mind but you can add that option all right guys five hidden features any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now have a fantastic day